Hi, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. Some new items just released from Planny Thing, and I want to show them to you. They just arrived on my doorstep. They are available today. Like you can go to the website right now and purchase them. Don't forget to use code Bumble10. You can get 10% off everything here. And I will put the affiliate link in the description box down below. I'm also gonna be doing a plan with me in this video, so you can stay tuned for that. But let's just flip through this stuff really quick. I have not looked at it yet, obviously. I'm just opening it up now. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, a notebook. Sticker books and washi. I love these washi tapes. These are always so awesome because patterned washi tapes are my jam. Obviously, this is gonna be a Christmas release. Perfect, because you're gonna get this early. So you're gonna have plenty of time to get the stickers way ahead of when you make the spreads. All right, let's check this stuff out. So first up, we have this notebook. This is A5 size. It says Happy Holidays on the front. It has that cute little wintry scene. And then in here it says, enjoy Christmas, let it snow, it's happy time, all that kind of stuff. We have dot grid note paper. It's really thick, it feels good, it's nice and smooth, and it's really, really white, which I love. And then the back, same thing as the front, inside front cover, and then here is the back of the notebook. I love having these actually just sitting around to jot down random notes. That's what I usually use them for, but you can certainly use it for, you know, a different category for each notebook or whatever, but it's fun to have seasonal ones around the holidays um, or around the different seasons because then they sit there and they remind you of Christmas. All right, let's take a look at these sticker books. But first let's look at this washi tape because I just wanna show it to you close up. I'm not gonna open these and swatch them out because these are self-explanatory, they are just patterns. That's what they look like. I think they're so cute for those holiday spreads. They're the perfect colors. Love these so much. Can't wait to add these babies to my very big collection. <laughs> so we have two sticker books, Wonderful Christmas Time and Christmas Houses and Trees Part Two. There was a part one last year. If you know Plenty Thing and Amber, who runs Plenty Thing, you know she likes to put out the Houses and Trees sticker books. I love those because there's something about creating little scenes in my planner that makes me happy. So let's check out this wonderful Christmas time first. You get 618 stickers and 30 sticker sheets. All right, so the first page is cute already. I see pets, we have dogs and cats. So these are on clear, some wonderful illustrations, little Christmas trees and houses, cocoa and pets. You're always gonna get two pages of the designs so that you don't have to worry about using your favorite stickers up. And of course, we're gonna get some Christmas trees. Look at these, they're so cute. I love this type of design. It's sort of realistic, but sort of not, you know what I'm saying? Lots of Christmas balls that you can hang from the top of your boxes. You can put little lines down and hang them or just put them on top of a tree, I don't know. And then here's some Christmas tree boxes. These are on paper, not Christmas tree boxes, um, Christmas ball boxes. Those are always fun as well. Here are some functional boxes to go. Love these colors. Look at this, it's Santa's laundry. <laughs> Santa hanging out, it's probably Mrs. Claus, let's be honest, but she's hanging out Santa's clothes to dry. And um, that's so cute. We have little stockings. Is that a Pez snowman? It is so cute. Two pages of those. And then an old fashioned Santa Claus, Saint Nick, if you will, with the presents. We have like little scenes, so little doors and fireplaces and trees. This is so pretty and it feels like an old fashioned Christmas. I love that. And then Christmas treats, gingerbread, little marshmallow treats. Look at that little um, strawberry with the marshmallow in the middle. 
That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love food in my planner, you know. And then some boxes to go with everything. Look at this. This is different. So these cute little girls and they're like decorating the snowman. They have, they're sitting with the dog, little Coco. There's a cat tangled up with Christmas tree lights and a bunny too. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. I love these. And then some realistic presents. You can pile these up, make piles of presents in your planner. That was like alliteration. Piles of presents in your planner. Some brighter colored boxes. I love that she includes circles in there because I love using circles sometimes. And then here's some clear quotes. December, Santa Claus, Christmas Eve, Happy Holidays. I love these little curly cues on the letters. They're super fun. Holly Jolly, decorating. Yeah, that's really, really cute. Let's move on to Christmas houses and trees. And by the way, it's obvious I'm going to be doing a Christmas spread. Sometimes I like to do those little spreads early for the holidays and then I get to turn the page you know and in December and I see that I already decorated one for Christmas and it makes me happy snowy scenes with little houses and then there's individual trees and individual houses so you can create your own scenes This is a cute little fairy tale land. I don't know what to call this. It's got like, there's a gnome up there and little, I mean, the details are so cute. These, This has two little bears ice skating on a pond, hot air balloon, just a little Christmas town, like a Christmas European town, right? And then we have some more snow scenes and individual little things like some little benches, little walls. It kind of reminds me, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of when I was a kid and we would have like um, train sets and you'd get little tiny things to put in your train sets, like little tiny bushes and little tiny benches. You know what I mean? Um, to make little areas. I don't know. Do you remember that? Maybe they still have that kind of stuff, but it just reminds me of being a kid and setting that stuff up. You're going to get some boxes on paper. And then look at this. This is beautiful. We have like pink and red houses. And this one's in the mountains. We have some deer there. There's a fox. Again, like an individual light post, individual trees. And then some more trees. This one's decorated. Ooh, those are pretty. These look like gingerbread houses. So cute. And then just some regular houses in a regular neighborhood, I guess. Decorated for Christmas. By the way, all of these houses and trees are on clear and all of the boxes are on paper. And here's a little town, like a small town Christmas feel with little stores, shops, bakeries, all that kind of stuff. I could talk for days about all the details in these stores. Like you can see the individual things inside the stores, but I don't have time because we're gonna do a plan with me. And here's some boxes to go with those. And then this looks like a ski chalet type feel because we have some skis there, some trees. Definite snowy vibes here. Oh, there's even like a ski, is that a ski lift or maybe just a hill? And then lots more trees. So don't fear that you're going to run out of trees. 
<laughs> this is enough trees and houses to really have you make spreads for a very long time. That was bad grammar, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so very cute new products. Again, link will be in the description box. Don't forget to check that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and start my spread. I think I'm gonna do a creative journal spread, like a classic size, so let's get started. So I'm using the recovery layout, which I like to use sometimes. I think this is perfect for journaling and it's hard to decorate, but I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna be using the wonderful Christmas time sticker book. And I really love, where is it? Like I love this page and this one, so I think, these colors are perfect. I'm probably also going to bring in some washi tape. Maybe that. That's a little dark, but I think it could work. And maybe include some treats in there as well. But this is going to be a pretty easy plan with me. I don't think it's going to be difficult. And um, I'm just going to... I know I just said it's difficult to decorate the, the cover layout. But with, this, with these stickers, they're a little bit smaller than some of the stickers in other sticker books. So I think it's gonna be great for this layout because I have these small areas to decorate. So let's just start and put some little houses down here. Like so cute already. I love the old fashioned feel, like I said. It just brings me a little bit of Christmas joy in early October. <laughs> <laughs> it's very early, but sometimes you have to do that. And also I feel like it gives you guys ideas for your Christmas spreads early so that you can come back and look at this. You know what I mean? So since this is my journal, I'm not going to have to write a ton if I don't want to. So I can decorate a little bit more. That's a crooked tree. I just put it crooked, but you know, not all trees are equal. And sometimes your Christmas tree it does end up like a little bit off, you know what I'm saying? And you can try and try, and sometimes it's just slightly crooked, so that really is actually realistic. Let's do another little door. I love the red doors for Christmas time, even though I just painted my front door yellow. <laughs> but yellow can be cute at Christmas time too, I suppose. So, Hmm, I'm gonna put this here. Right next to my mood tracker. And the door is crooked too. Well, that's not usual, but <laughs> I'm gonna leave it anyway. Let's put a little bit of this on the page. Maybe just a touch here. I know I always leave like big areas of washi. I don't know why I do that. I know I'm wasting it, but I have a lot of washi, as I said. I still have not put my washi tape away in my washi tape rack because it's going to take me forever and I'm kind of dreading it. I was just talking about this on my Patreon live stream and I was like, hey, if anybody wants to come and organize my washi tape and put it on my rack. I would love that. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm not feeling like it. So it's just sitting in a bag. Not good. Um, I feel like I want to put it here, but it's going to take up some of that. I want to put it right over Sunday, but I can't. So let's put it down at the bottom, I guess. Maybe just right here. What I'm doing with this is I'm trying to evenly space out the washi tape so that there's not a glaring, you know, stripe, stripe, and then not another stripe. Because I feel like I always want to balance that. It does help to make a spread look more cohesive. Like already, this is so cute. Should I put treats in there? I mean, they're so cute. I know I said cute a lot, but this little strawberry guy, I can't with him. I'm going to put him on the page somewhere. Like, why not? I want to put him right there because I don't usually use 
this little circle. So why don't we just white it out and put this little guy on there? I don't know. I can let movie leaf practice self-love on there, but this says get a massage, buy yourself flowers. I don't need ideas for self-love. Like I know the things that I like and so that's okay. We're going to put this guy right there. Oh my gosh. Practice self-love with a little, make a little strawberry guy. We have gingerbread boy and a gingerbread girl. We have some cocoa, some cupcakes. Look at those little peppermints. Every time I look at these books, I see new things, you know, because they're so detailed. This guy does not want to be on my page. He's like, no, thank you. I'm staying with my friends. I'm not naming the gingerbread boy, I don't think, because, you know, he's not a real person or animal. But let's put him on here somewhere. Like, why not? He can go crooked like this. Yay. He's having fun. Um, so it's going to be a lot of, like, random little ones this time, and I'm okay with that. Sometimes... I kind of like that once in a while. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. I was just looking at other washi tapes. Should I put more on here? I might not, but it, that means I need to include a little more green on this page. Let's go look back at this. How about another tree? Is this the same tree? Oh, that is. So let's get this different tree on there. This is obviously much, much bigger, but we can make it work. So I wanna put something here, but we do have like these little prompts here. I don't always use them as intended. I wanna put it here. So what I'm gonna do, let's see, this says, have I been selfish, dishonest, or afraid? What can I do differently? We are gonna wipe this out. Now what I could do is put this on paper and put it over it so that you won't see the line, but I'm just gonna pop it right here. I don't care that much. You're not really gonna see it that much anyway. Another kind of crooked tree. All right, we have a theme going. We have a theme already super cute, but I'm gonna keep going because you know, I can't stop. So. We're gonna get some more treats on this page. How about, ooh, this little Christmas cookie's cute. So cute, but not the right color green. Hmm, maybe not. We'll get this little star instead. Another little gingerbread cookie. We're gonna put that one up here. You can see the line through it. Don't care that much. Maybe cocoa, how about this one? This one has a little marshmallow snowman guy floating in it. How cute is that? We're gonna put him right here. Yep. Um, I'm honestly almost done. I don't wanna to do too much to this because like I said, I do need room to write, but I do want more, of course, because that's what I do. So, hmm, peppermints. Where? Right here. Ooh, it's not the right color. I feel like it's just too pale. So I'm gonna take that back off. I do have to date this as well. Need something with a little bit of brown or green, I think. Maybe we go back to this page. I feel like you can't see the sticker book and I've been um, thinking you can, so sorry about that. We could add some boxes in. Should we add boxes? Um, maybe. I don't know 
know about this green. This is a little bit olivey compared to what's on my page. So let's look at the other boxes in the book. This one I feel like matches better for this. So let's grab one of those and one of these. Maybe just put like two boxes on here. I don't know. Let's see, yeah, I think this one can go here in the corner. Ooh, I wanna put this one down here, but there's that red right there. So maybe we put it right here. And then we just have two boxes. I think that's good. I don't need to overload it with boxes because there's lines right here too. So I have plenty of room to write. We're gonna take this though. Wait, I need a red one. I'm gonna need a red one this size so that I can put it up here for the date. I feel like I wanna write the date in um, a box for some reason, if there is one. There may not be one in here. Let's see. There's one. Now that I put that there, I feel like I should have put green there. <laughs> it's hard when you're trying to balance literally like two colors. It makes it really confusing. But we can add a little bit more green up there. Maybe, he oh, maybe I like a stocking. See, there's always like little stickers you can put in tiny spaces to balance the color, which I love. Maybe do, I can hang it from here. Is that weird? Slightly from there. Um, the writing always gets in the way. I mean, that's the point. From here. I guess. Okay. So cute. Ah, I'm migrating. I hate that. Sorry. <laughs> I tend to do that lately. I'm not used to this new house and like where everything is and how my desk is set up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm having trouble with it, you know? Okay, so what I'm going to do is pause, decide on the dates, and then I'm gonna maybe get some pen and write in some things or color in some things. I might color in these numbers. All right, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna make this December 11th through the 17th because that's gonna be sort of an early Christmas spread. Now I have to add the dates over here. I think what I might do is just write them in with pen. I mean, I don't always write it. They're not always like fancy, you know? Now the sticker's in the way for this one, so I'm gonna have to put that up here. Not ideal, but that's okay. I don't care that much when I'm dating stuff, making it look, you know, special, as long as the dates are on there. Okay, so over here, I am gonna color in these numbers. I found two Tombos. They're not perfectly matched. I'm hoping it'll go, cause this one's really bright and this one is more like olive-y, but so are the colors here, so I'm hoping. So what I'm gonna do is just go over them like this, color them in. Now, I know you're gonna see that on the other side a little bit, but I usually tape these pages together so that, um, because I use different layouts. So I'm not really gonna use this page. I'm not really gonna use this page. Most likely I will be attaching them to other pages, so that won't be an issue. Now let's see what this looks like. I'm scared. I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible. Well, this too is hard to do. Let's color in with the brush side. Sometimes that makes it less streaky. 
I could also use an Archer and Olive Acrylograph pen with this that makes it more um, smooth and then it doesn't go through the other side, but my pens are still all over the place. Still not put, I still didn't hang up my pen holders. Can you believe it? You guys are not going to get a craft room tour for quite a while, but I promise you I will eventually do it. It's just, um, it's going to take some time. I'm not pressuring myself to get this place organized at a, you know, within a certain time period. I'm really trying to make it easier on myself and not pressure myself. So that's why it might take a little bit longer. Oh, I think the blinds guy is here. Gotta go. Nope, it wasn't the blinds guy. It's just a dog. Somebody walking a dog and Bumble's freaking out. But I am having motorized shades installed on my picture window in the front. And he should be here pretty soon. So that's what I thought it was. Okay. The, this like font for these numbers is perfect for this spread because it feels like old fashioned Christmas. Do you know what I'm saying? I really like that. I could outline this and these in black, but I'm going to leave them as is because I really like the way they look. That's cute. Now, should we color in anything else? I feel like I want to, but also maybe that's too much, right? Now, when I do fill this out, I can certainly bring in these two color pens. If I remember that I used these, I'm going to have to trial and error, try to find them. Um, for like bigger writing throughout. I feel like I need something up there, just something small. Maybe like this little poinsettia. That's pretty good. What else do I need? I think that's it. I don't want to overdo it, but when I fill this out, I usually add in little stickers when there's a little bit of white space. So I think this is perfect for that week. I'm very excited. Um, I want to say I'm very excited for Christmas, but I never really get excited for Christmas until it's like almost here because Christmas, um, I don't know, it stresses me out a little bit. I hate to say that, like I do love Christmas so much. And once Christmas is here, I'm very excited. And I love like gathering with family. I love buying gifts, but it's um, the lead up to Christmas that makes me feel stressed out. I don't know. Do you guys get that way? I'm a, I'm someone, and if you've been watching my videos a long time, you'll know, but I'm someone who gets easily overwhelmed. And so Christmas um, starting in like right after Halloween, I start to feel really overwhelmed by Christmas, but I do enjoy it a lot, so I'm going to be really excited to have this spread, and maybe it will put me in a Christmassy mood before Christmas. All right, that is all I have. Excuse me. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to check out all of this planning thing stuff. So, so cute. What a cute Christmas release. Um, thank you, Amber, for sending me all of these goodies, and um, don't forget to use that code BUMBLE10 for 10% off. That will save you some money and it will also give me a tiny little commission as well if you use my link and, and the code. Um, so thank you for that. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.